Hi, this is Bob Gersh with East Coast Capital. And today's topic is a recession doesn't equal a housing crisis. A recession doesn't equal a housing crisis. Everywhere you look, people are talking about a potential recession. And if you're planning to buy or sell a house, this may leave you wondering if your plans are still a wise move. To help ease your mind, experts are saying that if we do officially enter a recession, it'll be a mild and short one. As the Federal Reserve explained in their March meeting, the staff's projection at the time of the March meeting included a Mao recession starting later this year with a recovery over subsequent two years. While a recession may be on the horizon, it won't be one for the housing market record books like the crash in 2008. What we have to remember is that a recession doesn't always lead to a housing crisis. To prove it, let's look at the historical data of what happened in the real estate market during previous recessions. That way you know why you shouldn't be afraid of what a recession could mean for the housing market today. A recession doesn't mean falling home prices. To show that home prices don't fall every time there's recession, it helps to turn to historical data. Looking at recessions going all the way back to 1980, home prices appreciated in four of the last six of them. So historically, when the economy slows down, it doesn't mean home values will always fall. Most people remember the housing crisis in 2008 and think another recession will be a repeat of what happened to housing then. But today's housing market isn't about to crash because the fundamentals of the market are different than they were in 2008. Back then, one of the big reasons why prices fell was because there was a surplus of homes for sale at the same time distressed properties flooded the market. Today, the number of homes for sale is low. So while home prices may see slight declines in some areas and slight gains in others, a crash simply isn't in the cards. A recession means falling mortgage rates. What a recession really means for the housing market is falling mortgage rates. Historically, each time the economy slowed down, mortgage rates decreased. Bank rate explains mortgage rates typically fall during an economic slowdown. During a traditional recession, the Fed will usually lower interest rates. This creates an incentive for people to spend money and stimulate the economy. It also typically leads to more affordable mortgage rates, which leads to more opportunity for home buyers. This year, mortgage rates have been quite volatile as they respond to high inflation. A 30 year fixed Mortgage rate has hovered between six and 7%, and that's impacted affordability for many potential buyers. But if there is a recession, history tells us mortgage rates may fall below that threshold, even though the days of 3% are far behind us. Bottom line, you don't need to fear what a recession means for the housing market. If we do have a recession, Experts say it will be mild and short, and history shows it also means mortgage rates go down. This is Bob Gersh with East Coast Capital with his blog, podcast, and video Monday through Friday at AskBobGersh.com. If you have any questions or like to connect with me, the best way is through AskBobGersh.com. Have a great day, a great week. Enjoy life. If I can be of any assistance, just reach out to me through askbobgersh.com. If you do see me at the local coffee shop, tap me in the shoulder, let's sit down, have a cup of coffee, talk about whatever you like to talk about. Until next time, enjoy life. See you then.